Okay, folks, what I want to talk to you about now is how the ductwork is actually tied in. We just did a couple of videos, one for the supply ductwork and one for the return ductwork and the sizing of the ductwork and how you determine the ductwork. So I recommend that you actually go back and look at those two videos, especially for you guys that's doing this for the first time or so. Now, what I got here is the air handler, as you see, this guy is going up to the hole here. This particular air handler is going to be laying horizontally in the attic. And it's going to be facing, as the house goes, this way. This, that's the supply end, and this will be the return end. All right. So, in theory, this is the garage, and the air handler is going to be laying right here. Now, this is all mumble jumbled. I'm just going to show you a couple things here. I've, I've went over here, and I've actually got the air handler laying in the attic, and I'm going to come over here with a run, a 14-inch, that's going to feed the living room and the uh, another bedroom, and this particular case is going to feed the master bedroom. So the point I want to make out to you is I, I have divided the house up like this, okay? As I divide the house up, I'm going to run one flex duct system on this side, and I'm going to tie one on this side. All right. Here's what I've done here. Excuse my drawing, gentlemen. But anyway, I got a three-ton system. I'm running an eight-foot trunk line. Off this trunk line, I've already calculated the load. I'm going to come over here to a what we call a reducer box. And a reducer box is we're going to do a video later on. A reducer box is where you come out and you actually build a, not a triangle but a reducer because I'm going to end up putting a 10 inch right here. So I've calculated the airflow on this side of the house at a 14 inch flex. 10 inch over here. On this side of the house which is my dining room and bathroom and another small bedroom is going to be 400 CFMs. Okay so I'm going to come off again and put uh, a 10 inch flex. One, one thing I want to point out one thing I want to point out is, you notice how I've got the 14 inch on the very end? That's where most of my airflow is going out. So on my trunk line, I'm going to put my 14 inch off my, you know, come back about 10 inches, put the 14 inch, and come back about a foot from this point and put the 10 inch. That way as the air flows down, it goes down the least path of resistance, okay? Air is like water, least path of resistance. I want to point out one more thing real quick on the returns. We had three returns, and this is 1,200 CFMs return at a .05 state. You notice how I've got all my returns coming back to my plenum? This is in order to make sure you have the correct static pressure. Guys, get in the habit of always taking your returns back to your plenums. If you don't, you're going to live to regret it. This is just a quick, basic rundown of how to kind of place the ductwork into a trunk system. This is how to place the returns in the return plenum individually. If you have any questions, just call us at Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. If you like this, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.